Good morning, my loves. So today we are going to redo my handbag storage. I have two new cupboards from Ikea. I'm gonna put them together. I'm gonna to reorganize everything with you and we're gonna be moving my makeup desk to the other wall. And most people use the like the pack system or the Billy Book shelves, but the problem I have with those is I don't keep all of my designer handbags out because dust ruins them. Like, I cringe when I see people's like thousands of dollars of bags just like out constantly and they're not kept in dust bags or away from dust. So I keep a few on the top but they're continuously rotated so they don't get a lot of like exposure to the light and they don't get too dusty. But I have a glass cupboard that locks which is great because I have maids and you know like if you live in Dubai or even when I go to India like everyone keeps everything locked up. But then you can't see it, and when I can't see it, I don't use it, so I found glass cupboards that lock. They're from Ikea, so they're quite affordable. I'll link them down below. I'm gonna set you up, do a time lapse of me constructing these Ikea things, because money saving tip, guys. If you wanna save up for your luxury designer goods, do some things yourself. Like, instead of paying for the Ikea team to put my stuff together, I 90% of the time do it myself unless it's just simply too big for me to do. So yeah, let's get into this. Okay, so I'm just gonna show you what I have right now. The boxes are already here. They're not normally there, but that's what we're gonna make today. So my makeup desk is here. I had a mirror, my maids broke it. Gotta get a new one, but it's gonna go over here now. This piece is gonna be removed probably to the different portion of the house. I'm not really sure yet. But see, this is my typical storage. Most of it's kept behind the sliding cupboards or in the baskets. Um, I rotate the ones up top so they're not always getting dust on them. I just can't keep my nice handbags out with how dusty it gets in Dubai. And then inside, oh, this cupboard's a little slammed. Also another reason I need to get these new cupboards up. So yeah, that is the current situation, and I hang a few of my bags that are happier hung up, but these are all the ones that sit on the shelves. I stuff them. For the most part, they're in their dust bags if they're like inside the little squares and stuff. So this is going to be no more today. I'll give you a good look at the whole section. This is what we're redoing. This is my jewelry cupboard that I have. I have maids that come in clean so I can't leave it out but I am, like I said, the type of person that if I don't see it, I don't use it. So this cupboard actually locks and I keep the key with me and I can see everything. It makes me use my jewelry more and yeah, it's just super convenient. So the cupboards that I have are like, that I'm going to make for my handbags are like double E is wide and I think a little taller maybe. And they're in white where like the gray is, but they're also glass so you can see everything. So that is kind of the inspiration for what we are making today. How annoyed would you be if I did this entire video in bad bunny glasses? This is what my bed looks like. These are all of my handbags out of that cupboard. I will not be able to move this by myself. Luckily, the new cupboards are going on this wall. So I will be waiting until I can get some help to move that out. But I am going to go ahead and change the rug. I have a new rug for it. So that is the next step. ready to start building and this is going to be the fun sweaty part. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do that. So now I 
I've got all the pieces out and I'm ready to start. I just took a look at the instructions and we're supposed to have two people for this. So we're gonna see how it goes because I don't have a second person and I didn't realize that until I just opened the box. Just a remedy, remedy, remedy And the way you go, baby, don't you know This a remedy, 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 yeah Yeah, a remedy, remedy, yeah oh, no. So I've scooched you in a little bit So you can see now we're going to start working on the taller bit I'm gonna, I'm gonna. Like it's starting to come together it would definitely be easier with two people but you know what I'm getting there on my own do is I'll do the other one off camera because that took forever and I want to save a little battery because I have a little DIY for the shelf lining I got this amazing white velvet little pieces from Amazon and we're gonna line the shelves so like patent leather or any kind of treated leather doesn't stick to the glass because you don't want to get those like marks on the bottom so I think just having a white velvet, so no color transfer, will help preserve my bags and just make for a great little addition to this. So I'll see you after I get the next one finished. So I have finished the second cabinet. Um, I'm gonna get some Google on and get that like sticker off later because I don't have it right now. So now I'm gonna show you the velvet papers and set you up to show you that little DIY to line the shelves. Okay, so these are the velvet pieces that I have. This is how they came. I got them on Amazon. I'm going to link them below. Um, this It's just like a self-adhesive velvet pad. So I'm just going to lay them out and like cut them to size and line each shelf. So I think it's pretty self-explanatory, so I'll just get one shelf done and then kind of check in, because you just peel off the back and you just like stick it. I have laid out the white velvet pieces. I just cut the two in the back. That was a slip that was off when I cut that. It's not perfect, as you can see, there's like a little border, but I'm gonna have bags in here. This is mainly just to protect the bottom of my bags from sticking to the glass and making sure that there's no color transfer. That's why I chose white. So yeah, now it's just peel and stick. So I will show you when it is finished. So I finished lining the glass shelves with the self-adhesive velvet. I didn't do the bottom because I'm actually gonna be putting baskets down there. 
but as you can see it is not perfect like there's some little gaps and stuff but I have a lot of handbags and I think it's just gonna cover it so I wasn't precious about it I think if you want to do it perfectly you can measure you can fill in the little gap on the side like you can make it perfect but this is good enough for what I need days later before I had the cabinets on this wall and now I've moved them so I'm going to show you what it looks like. I like to live with the space for a little bit when I put a piece of furniture in and you know the energy was just not right so I decided to switch the walls. So I will show you now the completed handbag storage and detail a few little projects that will be coming in the future corner I've created my handbags are now on the wall next to my bed and my makeup counter is here I wanted my handbag storage here so that it, the light would come from the window it comes from like there and it would make a nice like YouTube background but it was just too bulky and it wasn't looking right so I put it over in the corner here and I need to add a mirror and I'm changing this chair it's so old like <laughs> the faux leather is peeling so gross so this will be another video, another project. But for now, this is my finished storage. And when I'm filming, I can actually easily take these doors off as well because it's just like a little thing at the top and then you can just like take the door off. So I have a nice background. And this is the first cabinet. I went by color. I tried to arrange the shelves nicely, but actually I have too many bags for that. So, and I didn't want to get another cupboard. These two fit perfectly. And then we have the second one. So I got some of my larger bags out of the closet and put them on top. That's my only shelf that's like kind of curated right there. We have some more bags and in the bottom. And in the bottom, these baskets, like these are like more like unique bags. Like I have these little like food truck ones from Cape Spade that I love, but like, they have to go with the right outfit, so I didn't really want them out. These are like my clutches, evening bags, little coin purses, tiny little things that I don't need every day. And then in the bottom of this one, I have like summer bags like and trendy bags that are not like designer. So like rope, bucket, beaded, straw, like any of those kind of trendy Instagram-y kind of bags that I do use a lot when I travel. but. They're just not as easy to display because like the rope one just kind of goes in a puddle. And then these are just some more, these are actually mostly my travel bags. Like I keep a couple of Kate Spades because if I'm going to a new country or if I'm traveling like with girlfriends or by myself, I don't like to carry designer when I'm on my own if I don't know the place. Cause you never know how safe it could be. So yeah, that is the final look. There you go. Tell me guys what you think in the comments. If you saw any bags on here that you want a full review of or you wanna know what's in my bag, let me know what kind of content you're interested in. I'm gonna have, I think, a few more home projects coming soon and also a lot more fashion. I'm gonna start getting into posting weekly now. So I'd love it if you join my online family. Click subscribe, consider following me on Instagram. All my socials will be linked below. And until next time, See you guys.